Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into the future of healthcare and you know those large language models, LLMs that everyone's talking about. You guys sent in some really interesting excerpts from a book called LLMs and Generative AI for Healthcare. And let me tell you, this stuff is seriously next level. Yeah, it really seems like AI is poised to completely revolutionize healthcare. Absolutely. And, you know, I get it. AI can seem like this big, mysterious thing. So we're going to break it down today, starting with the basics. Chapter two of the book is called Peeking Inside the AI Black Box. And it does a great job uh, of sort of demystifying these LLMs. Because let's face it, you feel like magic sometimes, right? It can. But like any good magic trick, there's a clever explanation. At its core, it's all about recognizing patterns, but on a scale we've never seen before. Think of it like this. Imagine a medical student who can remember every single textbook, every research paper, every patient file they've ever encountered. Oh, so like a medical student with a superhuman memory. Exactly. Now scale that up exponentially and you've got an LLM. These models have billions of data points, called parameters, and these parameters allow them to learn and make connections across an insane amount of information. So instead of just memorizing facts, they're finding patterns and making connections. Exactly. And we're already seeing this kind of deep learning at work in other fields. Take self-driving cars, for example. They use deep learning algorithms to recognize images and navigate their surroundings. Okay, so how does that translate to healthcare? Well, one really promising area is medical imaging. We've already got computers that can see tumors and scans, sometimes even better than humans can. And the book mentions this incredible case where an LLM actually diagnosed a rare disease just by analyzing a scan. Wait, hold on. It diagnosed the disease just from looking at a scan? Yep. Apparently, there was this subtle texture variation on the scan, something a human doctor, even a highly skilled one, might easily miss. But the LLM it was able to pinpoint that tiny anomaly, compare it to millions of data points, and connect it to a rare disease documented in a research paper. Wow. So instead of just looking at the body, we're talking about looking through it with this incredible level of detail and understanding. Exactly. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So this is like really happening. It's not just some futuristic fantasy. It's definitely not science fiction anymore. This is the real deal. And in chapter three, they get into some of the practical applications, you know, beyond white coats. Okay, yeah. They call it N10. One that really stood out to me was how LLMs can help with the administrative side of healthcare. Because let's face it, navigating appointments, insurance, treatment options, it can be incredibly overwhelming. Oh, absolutely. Especially if you're already dealing with a health crisis. Exactly. And the book actually tells this really powerful story about a woman named Needy who's diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh, wow. And she's just understandably completely overwhelmed by everything. Yeah. And that's where this AI assistant named Tara comes in. Okay. So Tara, powered by LLMs, she helps Nidhi navigate all those logistical hurdles, like scheduling appointments, dealing with insurance claims, understanding her treatment options. So it's like having a personal assistant who really gets the healthcare system. Exactly. And it's not just about taking care of the logistics. Tara's also there to provide emotional support. Like, she's there to listen to Nidhi's fears, answer her questions, and just provide a sense of calm during a really tough time. See, that's what I love about this. Even with all the advancements in technology, we can't forget about the human element of healthcare. Having someone to talk to, someone who understands what you're going through, that can make all the difference. Absolutely. And speaking of the human toll of healthcare, the book also digs into the administrative burden that healthcare professionals are facing. Did you know that the U.S. spends up to $1 trillion annually on administration and billing alone? Wait, a trillion dollars? Are you serious? Yeah, that's more than the entire healthcare systems of some countries combined. That's insane. It's a staggering amount of money, and a lot of it is tied up in these really inefficient processes that could be streamlined with the help of, you guessed it, LLMs. Okay, so we're talking about potentially saving money, reducing stress for everyone involved, and freeing up doctors to actually spend more time with their patients. Exactly. Sign me up. Right. And one area where this could have a huge impact is prior authorizations. Ugh, don't even get me started on prior authorizations. The bane of everyone's existence, right? Seriously, it's like every time I need a new prescription, I got to jump through hoops to get it approved. It's such a pain for both patients and doctors. And it often leads to these delays in care, which can sometimes have really serious consequences. Absolutely. But imagine if AI could step in and analyze all that data in real time, 
to make those authorization decisions faster and more accurately. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. No more waiting weeks for approval. No more back and forth between the doctor's office and the insurance company. Just like faster, smoother access to the care you need. Exactly. That would be a game changer for sure. And it's amazing how the book goes even further talking about this health bot concierge. Right, like having your own personal guide to the whole healthcare system, which sounds amazing. Seriously, imagine a chatbot that could like break down medical jargon for you, manage your prescriptions, remind you to take your meds. And keep you on track with your health goals, like a personal health coach available 24 seven. Exactly, and I love how the book even talks about these chatbots being able to adapt to each patient's communication style. Yeah, that's really cool because some people might want clear, concise instructions while others might prefer a more conversational approach. Totally. And it's all about, like you said, meeting patients where they're at, personalizing the experience. Absolutely. And you know, it's not just about improving the patient experience. LLMs also have the potential to completely revolutionize how doctors make decisions, you know, clinical decision support. Okay, tell me more about that because the book touched on this AI curbside physician thing. Mm -hmm. And I'll admit that one really caught my attention. Yeah. So imagine having a team of like the world's leading specialists on call 247 ready to consult on any case at a moment's notice, that's kind of what this AI tool aims to do. Whoa, that's incredible. It can tap into this massive amount of medical knowledge to help doctors make really informed decisions, everything from diagnoses and treatment options to like potential risks and long-term outcomes. So it's like having this like super powered medical consultant right there in the room with you. Exactly. And it's not just about providing information. It's about connecting the dots, you know, spotting patterns yeah. that a human doctor might miss, ultimately helping them provide the best possible care for their patients. Wow. And then there's the whole concept of an LLM powered digital twin yeah. for each patient, <laughs> which just sounds wild. Yeah, that's where things get really futuristic. But basically, it's like a virtual representation of your body, but powered by all this data and AI. OK, so how would that even work? Well, the idea is that it could help predict health risks and personalized treatments based on your unique genetic makeup, lifestyle, environmental factors. So you're saying that we could potentially predict health issues before they even arise? That's the hope. Wow, that would truly be revolutionary. Right. like having a crystal ball for your health. Exactly. And then on top of that, the book even talks about these infinite context prompts. Oh yeah, that's some next level stuff. Where LLMs could theoretically access a patient's entire medical history. Everything they've ever experienced. And use that to create like the most personalized care plan imaginable. The possibilities are pretty much endless, but of course, we have to remember that with great power comes great responsibility, right? Oh, absolutely. We need to make sure these incredibly powerful technologies are developed and used ethically and responsibly. Couldn't agree more. We can't just blindly embrace new technology without thinking about the potential downsides. Exactly. We need to be having those tough conversations, considering the ethical implications, making sure these advancements benefit everyone, not just a select few. It really feels like we're on the cusp of a healthcare revolution and LLMs are gonna be at the forefront. They already are, and it's up to all of us, patients, doctors, researchers, policymakers, to work together to make sure this technology is used for good. Well said. So to our listeners, we hope this deep dive has given you a lot to think about. As we venture further into the world of AI and healthcare, we encourage you to stay curious, ask questions, and engage in those critical conversations about the future we wanna create. The possibilities are truly endless, and by approaching this new frontier with open minds and a commitment to responsible development, we can harness the power of AI to build a healthier and brighter future for everyone. That's it for today's Deep Dive, everyone. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.